Hi everyone, this is RTR Football Manager speaking and today I'm going to show you why are formations important for your FM game or even in real life soccer and yes, before I begin, uh, let me just highlight to you that this gadget here is by FM Fanboys in their tactical playbook and yes, without further ado, let me just get on with the <laughs> little little tutorial now consider this um, 5-3-2 formation and let me just first ask how do you think that your players will attack using this formation well the obvious choice is to use your two strikers to you know, interfere with their defenses but how are you going to supply balls to the strikers probably you want to do a long pass through your midfield or you want your left or right backs to run up or you could ask your midfielders to run up to support the attack but um, there are strengths and weaknesses for formations and let me just discuss to you right now what are the some of the complications of using this tactic number one, number one is if your players are not going to run up they have to commit to long passes or crosses through the midfield or from the side or from the from your defense line and this is not very good if your players are not having high attributes for your for long passes or for crosses and and I'm playing in the coca-cola championship league so most of the clubs there have players that do not really have good technical attributes um, so usually I mean unless you are playing the top tier league and so this kind of tactics is not really preferred for Coca-Cola Championship League and below for attacking options. Of course, uh, defensively, this is a very very strong team simply because you have five, you know, five defenders protecting the defense line with a defensive midfielder. And when the ball tries to come against you from the sides or from the middle, the opposition will face lots of you no know, interference from your defense defenders who does not need to run so much and can cover a wide range of area use, using even zonal marking and so you can see that uh, formation has strengths and weaknesses in in its you no know, application and it's wise to know the strengths and weaknesses of your preferred formation so that you can optimize it for your own team for your own players like for example in Newcastle's case my players are very physical and therefore they prefer to run they can run and outrun um, the opposition very fast so I usually capitalize it and by using the 442 formation where you can that this is for my Newcastle team where my wingers can go up easily because they have good, um, good physical traits and support by doing a short pass here a short pass here or from here to supply a cross for the strikers this is a very typical tactic and my midfielders here will run up to support by doing long shots like my famous uh, Rodrigo Possebon <laughs> I hired him from Manchester United to do this this stunt and you can see that uh, I am using quite a typical formation that many uh, famous uh, soccer managers are even using today and so why are formations important on the pitch they actually control the ball flow of how you want your attacking options to be and how you want your defense to be so that your players do not have to run more than they should and you can cover as much area on the pitch as possible with the right techniques and with the, with the right kind of people in your formation and my suggestion to you if you are playing your FM game is to know the strengths and weaknesses of your own team and choose a good formation for them or you can choose a good formation first and find players that can suit your kind of attacking philosophy or your strategy yes and that is all from me and that is why formations are important on the pitch Stay tuned for more updates from um, RTR Football Manager and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel 
at RTR Football Manager or at my blog at footballmanagersite.com and with that I'll be signing off and you know, look forward to another tutorial on <laughs> on tactics and strategies stay tuned strategy stay tuned